Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about NBA Youngboy. Or specifically, we're going to be talking about NBA Youngboy's house. And some dudes that probably are connected to him in some way. Or at least cool with him, right? Now, there's been an arrest made in Texas. And it's at the home owned by NBA Youngboy. They brought out the SWAT team. It was a whole raid. It was like his mom's crib. So there were three people who were arrested. It's a lot going on, man. And people are trying to figure out if this is connected to NBA Youngboy and his case in any way, man. But this is a wild story. But before we get to the specifics, man, and talk about what went down and the three suspects who were allegedly arrested in the bus, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, now let's talk about this NBA Youngboy story, man. Now, there's a story that TMZ just ran and it talks about NBA Youngboy's mom's house getting raided by the SWAT team. Now, the headline says this specifically. It says, NBA Youngboy, SWAT team raids mom's Texas home, three men arrested, gun seized. Now, we know that Texas, you know, it's a gun-friendly state, but we know guns and NBA Youngboy don't mix. He don't need to be nowhere around no guns. But, I mean, right now, NBA Youngboy should be in Utah. Like, that's like... There's no way. Like, he, he just dropped a music video with the baby today called Hit. And obviously, he filmed that from the location where he's on his uh, house arrest or whatever you want to call it. Like, I think it's a pre-trial release that he's on right now while he's waiting to fight his case. Now, the story starts off by saying this. It says, a Texas home owned by NBA Youngboy, where his mother currently lives, became the target of an intense SWAT raid resulting in arrest of three men and the seizure of multiple weapons. Now, when it comes to NBA Youngboy's mom, I'm not going to say anything disparaging about her, but she's been vocal in the past about NBA Youngboy and his career, especially when he was really, really young in the game, just getting in the game. And there were a lot of interviews asking her how she felt about different stories about him. So she seemed like an upfront type of person and she seemed very involved in his music career like she had some sort of you know involvement even though it wasn't like close involvement where his brother had you know taken type, some type of control of the company or whatever it seemed like at least she was aware of things so not saying that this is tied anyway to NBA Youngboy besides it being his mom's house but I wonder who these three cats are and we're gonna get to that because their names after first saying them they just don't strike me as anybody I know from the rap game. But you guys can tell me in the comment section, right? Now, the story continues by saying this. It says, a spokesperson for the Harris County Sheriff's Office tells TMZ SWAT officers served a warrant at the property Tuesday morning. We're told NBA Youngboy purchased the home and his mom, Sharonda Golden, lives there. Although it's unclear if she was home when the cops arrived. So in order for them to use the SWAT team, it was probably a lot going on, man, besides the alleged weapons that were found there. You know what I mean? Now, the fact that NBA Youngboy's mom owns the crib and that she might not be there and she wasn't arrested, that's a good sign, at least for NBA Youngboy, I'm pretty sure. But I'm, pr I mean, these guys got to be his homeboys or why else would they be at the crib? Or maybe they're connected to his mom in some way, like they know her, they were doing something and it might not even be related to NBA Youngboy at all. So we'll leave that out there, even though... He probably bought the crib. Let's be real. His money probably paid for the crib and everything. Now, if you guys were wondering, Harris County Sheriff's Office, that's the Houston area. That is Houston, Texas area. So I'm assuming it was out there. I know there's times where he, there were stories where he was in Katy, Texas, where there was like a, a studio where there was an incident and stuff like that. But it looks like they're still trying to piece together what went down. Now, what they've also shown are what they believe to be the mugshots of the three suspects in this situation. Now, they have the names below that, and it says Ramella Williams, and it says Daryl Brown, and it says Carlin Galen. Now, I'm not familiar with any of these cats' real names. Maybe if they said their Knicks names or something like that, or their street names, maybe we get an understanding, but so far, nothing's ringing a bell for me. If you know something, let me know in the comments, right? Now, the story also says this. It says, neither young boy or his mother were arrested, but cops called the three men who were busted associates of young boy. So they're saying that the cops say that the three men who were busted are associates of NBA young boy. 
And they're saying that we're told they're arrested on charges ranging from aggravated robbery to aggravated assault. So they actually got multiple charges ranging from aggravated robbery to aggravated assault. And when you go and you look up their arrest records, and one of the only people I could look up so far was uh, the Romello Williams. So Romello Williams, if you look at his information on the website that they have at Harris County Jail, they do have aggravated robbery, deadly weapon as one of the charges. And then as his second charge, they have aggravated assault, severe bodily injury. Now they said that they're going to be in court coming up tomorrow. So we might get some more information about this later on. It looks like they're going to be in court pretty soon about this, man. But I, right currently, they don't have a bond or anything. At least this Romello Williams, if this is the same Romello Williams that said Harris County Jail, I mean, he was the only one. Uh, he's He's got no bond at this time. So let's continue with the story. The story says the sheriff's spokesperson, Thomas Gillian, tells TMZ the arrests are related to the November shooting of a 20-year-old man. Cops say the man was shot multiple times in the body and head, but survived and is out of the hospital now. So they're pinning this shooting on these cats that they're saying are associates of NBA Youngboy, man. And like I said, with the Romello Williams, one of his, his charges is aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon, and the other is aggravated assault, severe bodily injury. And, you know, they're saying in this story that the person was shot in the head and the body. Now, that doesn't mean that he did it because you're innocent until proven guilty. But it seems like it's matching up with the guy that's locked up in Harris County Jail right now. Now, it also says we're told the SWAT team also sees weapons, including an AR-15, pistols, and long guns. So these cats were, whoever this was, man, they were strapped up, man. They had all sorts of different type of weaponry, man. Now, the story finishes off by saying this. It says, as we reported, NBA Youngboy was released on bond from federal prison back in October after serving time related to a gun case. Not only did he have to fork over $500,000 to make it happen, but he was ordered to sit in home confinement in Utah until his trial date. So NBA Youngboy is obviously still in home confinement in Utah until he, he goes to trial. And these guys are associates who are still back in Texas where he lived before all this case went down, before he got locked up and everything, man, before this whole big ordeal, right? So, man, based on all the information that's given, what do you guys think? Do you think it was a potential that these guys are associates of NBA Youngboy and now that he's gone, the breadwinner's gone, the person who was bringing in all the money is gone, that things might have got tough and they got in them streets? Or do you think that there's possibly a case of mistaken identity and just because they're being accused of this doesn't mean that they actually committed the crime? I mean, it could have been anything, you know? It doesn't mean because they're arrested that they did it. So we're going to footstop that part. But what do you guys think? Y'all tell me in the comments. Now with that, this been your boy Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.